part three, building a spray booth. Let's have a look. Right, well, we're on part three now. It's probably gonna be the last one in this series. So let's just have a little look around and see what we've actually done so far. And you'll see a little bit of speedy that footage of us doing that sort of work. So let's have a little look at it now. Well, we're coming in the booth now, and as you can see, I've actually got the light fittings up now. We've only got five fittings at the moment, so we've got one, two, three, four, and one on the roof up there, we put the five fittings up there. If that's not light enough, what we can also do is just literally come down from there and do basically the same again. So we won't know that until we actually see the light, and as I say, we're trying to keep costs down, so we didn't order too much light at the beginning. So again, it's just a trial and error thing at the moment. Um, on the roof side of things, we're going to go along and seal up all these cracks along there, or seams rather, with uh, a sealant, so that's going to take a bit of time. That's all jobs for finishing off afterwards, and also right the way around the edge of the booth as well. And likewise, down the edges there and along the floor line as well. And as you can see, the doors are on now as well. And what I'm going to do is, at the end of each door there, one there and also one there, and one there. We're gonna attach a little jockey wheel so that you can just roll the door backwards and forwards. I've actually ordered them at the moment, but they're not here at the moment. I've got a thin panel to put in there, so that's not a problem. And again, in time, what we're gonna do here is just cut some windows in along there. When I find some double glazed units or whatever, you normally find double glazed units come up on uh, either eBay or Facebook, second hand units, uh, reasonably cheap. And what we'll do, we'll take the glass out of there, providing they're under 44 inches wide, doesn't matter how deep they are obviously, but they'll be able to go in like two of the walls there. And as you can probably see now, we've got the side door in. That's ideal. We've just put a couple of magnetic catches on that at the moment. All these doors, if we need to, we're gonna run some, uh, the little sponge seal around there. So that's not too much of a problem there. And on this back wall now, what you're gonna see in a minute is we're gonna cut this uh, uh, grill in, just same as what we've got over there, for, for example. And behind there, we'll be standing an intake fan just to blow gently a breeze in to push it towards the extract fan there. So this is probably an area you haven't seen, which is the back of the, um, the booth there. As you can see, it's a straightforward construction. And what we've actually done is to keep these panels, these are eight by four OSB panels, and you saw us build a frame for the door in part two video. And we built the walls in exactly the same way, bearing in mind they're four foot panels wide, so you can actually measure along four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 20, just under 24 foot long there. That's including the door. And wide, you've got it. Uh, three, four foot panels and another about a foot and a half panels. So that's about 13 and a half foot wide as well. 
The, uh, the height for the panels, again, is eight foot high, and we made them eight foot high because that was the size of the panel, so we've done the frames accordingly. All the, all the framework, as you can see, is made up of three by two studding, and uh, that's all, all the woodwork you see around the side that completes all the frameworks. It's all that three by two studding, so that's pretty straightforward. We put a plate along the wall there, all the way around there, fixed to the wall. It's the same height as the eight foot panels, obviously. And then the beams going across the ceiling are four by two. So we actually run them four by twos. And the, uh, as I say, the width for them, we got them in one length, completely one length. We didn't want no joints on them ones. And these little ones going across here, again, it's just a three by two, just to fill in and support the actual, I think it's six mil ply or five, nine mil ply on the roof. And that just acts as the roof for us. And that's basically it. Right, we're gonna turn the lights on now. Jimmy's gonna just do that first time. We haven't turned them on yet. We don't know if it's going to work or whether they're going to be lighting us. Go on in, turn it on. Well, there we go. This is our spray booth now. We're going to have a final clear up. We're going to put the grill in this wall over here now. And literally all you're going to see us do here is exactly the same as the other end. Cut a grill in there and put the two, the, the mesh on the front. We're going to have the filter membrane over the front there. And at the back, we, it's going to be open to atmosphere and we've got a, a, a big freestanding fan with a variable speed control, which we're just gonna stand behind there for the moment uh, until we sort out some heated air coming in. That will come at a later stage because we've got uh, the facility of a, a hot air heater at the above there, which we've just got to duct in, so that's not a problem. So that's what we're gonna do now. We'll quickly cut this in and then we're gonna call it a day and then you've seen our spray booth created from nothing on a budget and let's get this in quickly. And we'll see you in a minute. Right, okay then, there we go. We've got a double layer of filter membrane there. We've got the fat, uh, layer that sits inside. And then if we go around the back, I'll show you. So as you can probably see there, we've got this uh, fan unit here, which sits just here. And that's got a variable speed control on it. So at any time we can just put this on if need be, and then we can just shoot some air into the booth to aid circulation. What we're hoping to do is we'll be putting a duct perhaps on the back of that with a box and then taking it up to, we've got this heated unit up here which sits above. So that can be left for fresh air intake and then we'll probably be coming off there with a duct in into the top of the booth. And that, as I say, that is a heated unit which will feed possibly into one of the roof panels there, but that can come at a later date. Ideally, as you can see now, we've got a working booth now. We can actually start spraying in and out. We've just got to get the sealer, as I said, and go all around the edges, all down the door jams and stuff like that. Plus, we've got to put in this thin uh, strip here as well, which is uh, not a problem. That's, that's straightforward. We're going to do that in a minute. You don't need to see that. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed, enjoyed this spray booth, our version of a spray booth at the end of the day. You've seen us make this and um, what's involved in it. It's not very difficult. Uh, we built it from scratch, and it's all straightforward panels. Anyway, thanks very much. Hope you've enjoyed this series of videos and we'll see you again in the next video. And until then, bye for now.